Minister received body of Russian tourist recovered at sea on Wednesday off Phuket. 52-year-old Mizelena Ruzradchenko had been missing for six days. Officials earlier this week declared her lost at sea after an exhaustive search off Nathan Beach and onshore failed to find her. Prime Minister Prachan Ocha thanked all those involved and noted the sad ending. The body of 53-year-old Russian woman Elena Ruzradchenko was recovered in an operation some 30 kilometers off Patong Beach in Phuket on Wednesday morning and brought ashore to be received by Tourism Minister Fifat Ratchakat Prakarn. The Russian woman went missing on Thursday, October 20, while swimming on Nathan Beach. Prime Minister Prachan Ocha, while speaking with officials in Phuket, offered his sympathy to the Russian woman's friends and family saying Thailand regretted her death. Tourism Minister Fifat Ratchak at Prakarn among rescue workers at Layan Beach on Wednesday where the body of Elena Ruzradchenko was brought ashore having been recovered some 30 kilometers offshore after being spotted by a fisherman earlier and reported to the police. Prime Minister Prachan Ocha, on Wednesday, expressed his condolences to the friends and family of Russian woman Elena Ruzradchenko whose body was found approximately 30 kilometers off Patong Beach in Phuket on Wednesday morning by a fisherman working in the area. He located the body at a point which is believed to have been near Tri Trang Beach in the Kanta district of the Holiday Island. PM reminds people that everyone has brothers, sisters and family as he sympathized with those close to the Russian woman after her body was found at sea. Prime Minister Prachan Ocha said that the government regretted the Russian woman's death and that it strives to prevent such occurrences. He said everyone had either brothers, sisters, family or loved ones and therefore could sympathize with those close to the Russian woman on their loss. General Pratt thanked all those involved in the search for the foreign national as he spoke to provincial officials from Bangkok and noted that it had now been brought to an ultimately sad conclusion. The fisherman who discovered the body saw it floating in the sea, some 40 kilometers from where Ms. Ruzrachenko was last seen alive some six days previously on 20 October as CCTV footage caught a fleeting image of her changing shoes near where she left sandals and other clothing items on Nathan Beach in Tathalang district of Phuket where she was staying with friends in the nearby Nathan Barry Hotel. Body discovered on Wednesday by a fisherman who notified the police who launched a recovery operation. She had arrived in Phuket on 16 October and was due to depart on 29 of the month. On Wednesday morning. When notified of the sighting, the Phuket Marine Police and a local rescue unit, the Kusalatam Phuket Foundation, traveled to the area off Patong Beach where the Russian woman's body was found among debris floating in the sea. The body was recovered and brought ashore on Layan Beach located in a national park area of the Quangthal subdistrict of Thalang at approximately 9.10 a.m. where Minister of Tourism and Sports Fifat Ratchakat Prakarn was waiting. The body was then taken to Vekaira Phuket Hospital where an autopsy procedure was to be performed. Woman went swimming on Thursday in what were reported to be stormy waters off Nathan Beach. 53-year-old Ms. Ruzradchenko was a senior financial officer with a private company in Russia. Her disappearance was reported to police on Friday 21st, the day after she went missing by her partner who was staying with her at the hotel. A huge search was mounted including the deployment of forces from the Navy and Marine Police both offshore and onshore near Nathan Beach but was wound down after four days with officials believing her to have been lost at sea. It is reported that the woman was found wearing her long sleeve swimming apparel amid reports that she emerged from the water with others on Thursday, October 20 during a storm when swimmers were called ashore by a lifeguard on duty. It is now thought that Ms. Ruzradchenko walked a distance from that point and later re-entered the stormy waters.